Don't wait for your news. Whether it's around the corner, around the country, or around the world, see it first at 6 o'clock. Only on 10 Capital News, Canberra's number one news service. A typical 10 Capital News day starts early morning. News crews out gathering vision for stories for the evening news bulletin. The Chief of Staff is usually the first journalist to arrive. Andrew Messenger has 20 years radio and television experience, 18 years in Canberra. In a nutshell, how could you describe what, what you do? Basically the job is to set up the day for the whole newsroom in local news. So my job is to be over everything that's happening in Canberra. So what I do is uh, check through the papers, listen to the radio, uh, other television stations to see what's happening around the place and set up the day so I give uh, the journalists their jobs. I'll set up the jobs, give the jobs to a journalist and then work out which cameraman will do those jobs and then try to get the whole day covered with as many stories as we can. While the journalists are lining up interviews and organising stories, the producers are deciding how the bulletin will be structured, keeping in close contact with producers around Australia to decide which national and international news will join the local Canberra stories for 10 Capital's unique one hour of news, sport and weather. Well, some would describe the producer's desk as the hub of the newsroom. It's the producer's job to make me look good every night. And Catherine Philp is one of our producers. Catherine, uh, how do you choose the order of the stories? Well, Robbo, each day we have two telephone conferences with uh, other producers around Australia based in uh, Sydney, Melbourne and so on. And we discuss the stories of the day and um, through those discussions and keeping in close contact we decide which will be the most important stories at six o'clock when our bulletin goes to air. Yeah, being a Canberra-based news bulletin, does that enter into it? Yes, I work closely with the Chief of Staff and uh, he lets me know what's happening locally and with discussions with him we eventually work out the balance between the local, important national and overseas stories. So you've got to make that decision of, of what you think Canberrans will want to see at six o'clock first, do you? That's right, it's not always easy but uh, I think we've got the mix fairly well right. Okay, uh, the pictures and captions that appear while the news is on, uh, who, who decides on that? The producer all works with a graphic artist. We have a, once we have an idea of which stories we're probably going to go with that evening, we'll have a meeting with a graphic artist and um, we'll come up between us with an image or, and a word that will give the viewer at a glance an idea what the story's about. Craig Allen is one of our journalists here. Craig, uh, what's the most enjoyable part of your job, would you say? Enjoyable part of my job? Well, I suppose it's meeting the different people that we get to meet on the, on the streets every day as we go around. Every day is a different story and a different person to, to meet. And what would you say is the hardest part about being a television journalist? Well, of course, uh, we're working to a six o'clock deadline, we're always conscious of the time ticking away from us, uh, you know, always, always looking to try and get our stories out as quickly as we can, and of course, if, if they're not ready by six o'clock, the people at home don't get to see them. So, so you're saying it's pressure? There's a lot of pressure involved. That's uh, kind of the adrenaline rush you get out of it as well. At 6.05, you can sort of sit back and relax. Mike Donnelly is our senior cameraman here at 10 Capital News. It's his job to provide our news with the best possible pictures. And sometimes that means operating under extreme pressure. Mike, a camera like this, uh, how much would it be worth? A um, camera like this, you're looking at about anywhere from 40 to 50 grand. I mean, you get all sorts. They range from from down to 30 grand up to 120, depending on the quality of the, the situation. How much would it weigh? Um, this one here weighs about nine and a half kilograms. You've got that on your shoulder all the day. It does tend to get heavy. Right, the toughest job for a cameraman. You must go through uh, some experiences like car accidents. What do you think um, are the tough parts? Yeah, they're pretty traumatic when you first go out, when you're learning. Um, you turn up to a car accident and you see things that a normal person wouldn't really see. It's the editors who later compiled and matched the vision shot by the camera person to the story written by the journalist. The six o'clock news deadline can mean late breaking stories have to be cut very quickly and accurately. This 10 Capital News Update. Right, Kevin. Kevin. Uh, just explain what you're doing right now. Uh, what I'm doing is I'm laying the bed of music so I can put your, your um, vision over the top of what these guys shot in the studio. Then I'm just going to put pictures over the top and send it out to air. The state and overseas stories are gathered via satellite and are collated by a news transfer operator. 
Well, Peter Chapman's uh, one of TEN's uh, basketball commentators. He's also responsible for 10 minutes of uh, sports news each night in our 60 minutes of news on TEN Capital. Peter, what's a good thing about being a sports journalist? Oh, I suppose the best thing is that you get to go to all the sporting events and don't have to pay to get in and you get good seats. <laughs> but, um, oh, the good thing is uh, I've got sport in my blood, so I really enjoy working. In fact, I look forward every day to coming to work and I don't think many people can say that. Well, describe your job for us. What would a typical day be? Well, a typical day, I get here about 9 o'clock in the morning, um, have a look, read through the newspapers, uh, be aware of what sporting events have happened overnight. We check the wires from overseas. Uh, then we have a conference call in the morning. I speak to all the sports editors. Uh, right around Australia on Channel 10, they tell us what, what stories we're doing, uh, they're doing over there. And then from, from that information and from what's happening locally, we put together, as you say, about uh, about 10 minutes of local sport uh, and international and national sport. And that's how it all blends together. It sounds easy, but it, uh, as I said, I get here at 9 o'clock and I finish about 7.30. Well, you've been at Capital for eight or nine years now. Mm -hmm. What's the best sports story you've come across in that time? <laughs> oh, well, I've been fortunate um, uh, with Capital that I've been able to uh, go to England uh, twice and to New Zealand and Fiji oh. with rugby league tours and uh, also across to the Commonwealth Games. I think the Commonwealth Games probably have to be one of my highlights and doing a story about a uh, Sierra Leone runner who ran a magical race to run second to Ben Johnson and then only to find, uh, well the Raiders were going to sign him and that was a big story and then all of a sudden to find that he uh, had taken drugs. So that was probably a major story but um, I think if I was asked the very best story, I think covering the Raiders when they won the 1989 grand final, that was just uh, a magic, magic story. All Thursday's weather details now with Greg Hughes. Let's have a look at the cloud chart for this Thursday night and a number of cold fronts are evident in the Tasman Sea. So there you go, that's how it looks when it goes to air. G'day, I'm Greg Hughes. I'm just wondering how many of you know what a chroma key screen is? Maybe you've seen one at Warner Brothers Movie World on the Gold Coast when you went up there. Well, let me show you what a chroma key screen looks like. That's it there, a board painted a special blue colour. This is a uh, side shot of the set. This monitor over here is what I use every night and it assists me with what I point towards and I'll show you in just, in fact, we'll do it now. Richard's upstairs and by doing this, there's a graphic. That's the cloud chart. What you have to do is make sure that you work uh, very cleverly with your hands talking about the cloud in WA and you can have a look at the different uh, prognostic and synoptic pictures there. We change the graphics as we go all the way through the night. If we go back to the chroma key board shot, there it is there. This monitor is what assists me with the hand and if you have a look up here, this is, this is a little trick of the trade too. You guys know about AutoQ? Of course you do. Teleprompter, this is what I use as well all the way up there. So there are a few tricks to the trade, but when it all goes to where, hopefully, will bring you some good weather. During the day, I write and produce news updates using the latest information and present them from the news studio. Good afternoon. Making news today. These are later disseminated through the Broadcast Operations Centre. Late afternoon, the producers are writing introductions to stories and making any changes. Presenters are being groomed by a professional makeup artist. Various applications are made with the main objectives to make them look attractive, neat and tidy. The scripts for the newsreaders are typed and then checked for pronunciation and punctuation. Then it's to the studio for last minute audio and visual checks before the news opener is rolled. And the cannons break a nine year losing streak in Melbourne. This is 10 Capital News with Greg Robson and Sonia Allott. The studio is controlled by a floor manager whose function it is to make sure the camera operators, auto cue and presenters know the order of the bulletin by liaising with the control room and following the rundown. In the control room it's not so quiet, with the director, much like the captain of a ship, giving orders so the bulletin runs smoothly. The producer continually monitoring the bulletin so it runs on time. That's our news tonight. Thanks for watching. Good night.